Hey, it's Lucy. And celebrations are in order because I just published my first paper. 14,000 words, 12 figures, and four years in the making. I began this thing in 2014 for my master's project. I wrote it as a paper in 2015. It was rejected in 2016. I rewrote it in 2017. It was accepted in 2018. And now in 2019, it is available online. This thing was so much hard, horrible work. This thing was the agony of reading my rejection reviews saying horrible things. And it was the agony of saying, no, I'm done. I need to focus on my PhD now. And then six months down the line, changing my mind. And it was working weekends and working mornings. And it was using horrible old Windows PC software. And now that it's out there for you to read and for my colleagues to read and for me to gloss over it, it feels extremely anticlimactic. It's just another paper. One in a journal that publishes 50 every month out of 50 journals in my field alone that I can name. Who is even going to read it, let alone cite it? And after all that effort, all the times I wanted to give up and move on, was it worth it? I've seen a couple of PhD channels talking about their first papers and how overjoyed they felt, which is how I thought I would feel. So I thought I would make a flip side video about this weird other feeling that maybe other people have felt as well. If this had happened two years ago or even a year ago, I think I would have been overjoyed. Uh, as it was, I got misty eyed for about two seconds when the very nondescript email came through saying, oh, hey, you've been accepted, but it's been too long. The thing has been dragged out for so long that much like my undergraduate, by the time it's over, I am so numbly done with it that I don't even want to celebrate. And it's such a shame because I did so want to see this published. I think what's been getting me down is this thought that my paper is just a single stone dropped in a pond, that every other scientist at the same time is also dropping their own stones into. I feel like all that intensely hard work has resulted in something intensely insignificant, and I'm really struggling to reconcile that lack of correlation in my head. But that's being a scientist, right? We're expected to publish. You don't get a song and a dance set over it, it's just part of the day job. And I've been trying to think about it positively. I wasn't expecting to change the world with this paper, I wasn't expecting to be on BBC News at 10, and most scientists won't get that over their whole career. But that's not the point. The point is that it's not about individual glory or recognition, it's about how we can move forward collectively. If my paper gets cited by one paper, and that one gets cited by another paper, and that one by another, and that one by another, and so on, then I'll have accomplished what every scientist aims to do, and that is to contribute by a tiny, tiny, tiny amount to our understanding of the universe. And it doesn't even have to be an important piece of understanding. When I started this video, I was feeling kind of cynical about it all, but I kind of feel better now, so that's quite nice. Okay, so maybe I don't feel quite so insignificant about my publication anymore. I still feel small, and I still feel like a small stone dropped in a big pond, but I suppose that's what it's all about. Each stone all adds up, uh, and eventually you get um, a mountain growing out of that lake. If I hadn't thrown my rock in there, I'm pretty sure somebody else would have. And if nobody had, then I don't think anyone would really care. But it's there now, my tiny, tiny contribution to our understanding of the universe. And maybe that was worth the agony of being told by anonymous reviewers three years ago that my work was unpublishably awful. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I actually made a video last year about recovering from that initial rejection. The link is in the box swing below, so do go and check it out. And if you like what you see, then please do subscribe for more PhD related content. My name is Lucy Kizik. I'm a third year PhD student at the University of Oxford and take care until next time.